Welcome back to another BS Bourbon video oh, here on the BS Bourbon channel where we BS about bourbon. So what are we doing today? Today we have a pair of store picks and they are four gate store picks. Now these are the first four gate store picks that I've ever had. I have batch 10 here to compare. This is a larger batch, obviously not single barrel, limited release. So these here, this one is seven years. Seven year old, single barrel, cask number 547, 114.4 proof, and it is finished in new toasted Kelvin barrels. This one is basically the same, except for nine years old. It is cask number 824, 109.7 proof, nine years old, same finish, same rye. Most likely 95.5 rye, of course, they're from Indiana, so MGP. And they cut, come with a cool little fiddly bit from Fourgate. The CBOs of Fourgate Private Select Cask Barrel, blah, 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 do it care. And then they're from Inlet Harbor Liquors and Shelby from Inlet added this awesome metal uh, tag neck tag to them so it's pretty cool anyway so seven year and nine year mgp rye and uh you know I mean, we've talked recently about mgp and how i'm i'm just it's not source whiskey isn't really my favorite thing in the world right now is it good? Of course it's freaking good. It's good. If it's done well, it's good. And uh, as you can see, I've had some out of these bottles. I've gotten them out of the shoulder. I wanted this to be a full and complete test. And uh, so let's just go. Let's dive into it. We'll go through tasting and notes on these two. Then we'll compare to this more readily available. This one's obviously just locally available. But how are four gate store picks? Are they exceptional? Do they really blow away the batched stuff? Or is it just... We'll see. So we're gonna, we're gonna start with the seven year. This is also seven years. So I think this is gonna be a relatively good um, comparison. It'll be an interesting comparison at the very least. So let's see, seven year. I gotta tell you, from the first moment I smelled this in the store at Inlet Harbor, I was in love. This seven year is ridiculous. Dark caramel, hints of mint, like spearmint. Oh, the rye is just so full and luscious. It's, it's raunchy. There's something effervescent about it. It's just like singy all the way across your senses. Oh man, <clears throat> that effervescence comes through. Rich caramel, dark molassesy. Decadent, like browned butter sugar. Um, browned butter, like brown sugar in a pan. Oh my gosh. That's, this one is problem. This seven year is problem. Because it is so drinkable. And four gate stuff is not cheap. This is a two hundred, just over two hundred dollar bottle, and this is like a two thirty, two forty dollar bottle. And um, that's that's a problem. Now I figure we should do this here while we're at the seven, and just compare and see how close they are. Batch 10 
is 95.5 rye. It's a split stave, medium toast, and number two char um, staves in the barrel. So that's that way. This one is just a toasted, just a toasted cask Kelvin. I, I can't believe I'm saying this because the split staves have been my favorite things from Four, uh, four Gate. I almost keep saying Four Roses. It's driving me nuts. I have to keep catching myself in my head. What the heck? Four Gate. This is way richer than this. This is thinner. It feels brighter, which doesn't make sense because they're the same age. And proof wise, Pretty sure they're pretty close, 112.5 and 114, so yeah, they're close. 1% difference. This is way darker, richer, rounder, fuller. Just fuller and prettier. Yeah, this is bright, a little more ethanol forward, a little stingier, and this is just for dick. Ridiculous. Okay, no competition there. This wins hands down. It's not even a fair fight. Not even a fair fight. Now, nine year. Nine year. A little more citrus. Less caramel. More honey-esque. Far less of that effervescence, but it's still there. It's just lower, calmer, quieter. Molasses a little bit. But far more honey-esque. This is just bigger. Wow. It's taste. More honey, tiny hint of circus peanut. There's more of an herbal note on the nine year than on the seven. It was more pronounced when I first opened the bottle. When I first tasted at the liquor store on a freshly opened bottle, um, I got this very herbal note on the mid palate and it subsided a lot now that I've gotten it down out of the shoulder. And that was that was kind of the, you know, if you've watched my videos for very long, you know, I'm not a huge fan of that herbal, green, um, vegetal note that I get on like Four Roses, on Russell's Reserve, whiskeys like that. And this one has hints of it, but it's not bad. If you like Four Roses or Russell's, You'd probably love this whiskey. For me, seven takes the cake. Seven is absolutely phenomenal. And I kind of find on MGP Rise, seven to eight years is really the sweet spot. It's really the sweet spot. Once you get past that, you start getting into some funky stuff. Oh, that is so good. Oh my gosh. Seven, hands down, I could I could kill a bottle of that so fast. It's dangerous. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. If you want to get your hands on these, you can. They are available um, in Let Harbor Liquors. Go on in Let Harbor Liquors website. And pretty sure you can get some of these shipped to you. So anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a great day.